Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in today. So today I will be talking about Kupuasu seed butter. So I just started a series where I'm talking about all the butters that we carry. So my company, Oslab Organics, we carry a bunch of butters. When I started my business, I wanted to offer a wide variety of butters to people that are looking for pure and natural products for their own DIY skin care and hair care regimen at home. So I do carry a wide range of butters and on Amazon.com you would find a bunch of our butters, our oils, our waxes, all the ingredients you need to be able to make your own skincare products at home or for your small business. So today I'll be talking about Kupuasu seed butter. So I have talked about shea butter and I talked about mango butter. I've also talked about tamanu butter, but in this series for today in this video i will be talking about kupuasu seed butter so kupuasu seed butter is a very beautiful butter it's actually one of my top butters so i have my favorites like everybody else so it is a staple butter for my hair care regimen i have to always have kupuasu seed butter because it's such a buttery butter so we carry the unrefined version which is naturally processed and Kupuasu seed butter comes from the Brazilian rainforest. So the Brazilian rainforest actually carries a lot of wonderful products, believe it or not. Like if you haven't heard about the rainforest, the Amazon rainforest, you should definitely look it up and read up about the wonderful ingredients that come out of that. So we have a lot of oils that come out of the rainforest. We have these butters that come out. So Kupuasu seed butter is one of the more popular butters that have come out of the Amazon rainforest. It is a dark yellowish butter. It's so rich and creamy. And if you ever are looking for an, a, a vegan alternative to lanolin, you can definitely find that in Kupuasu seed butter. So lanolin is uh, is is a product that is used for making different skincare products uh, such as nipple barrier, uh, uh, baby creams and butters and things like that. So people do lean into lanolin, but it is an animal byproduct. So if you are vegan, you want that same benefit, but a vegan option. And you can definitely find that in Kupuasu seed butter. So Kupuasu seed butter is very rich in omega fatty acids, and it does come with a characteristic aroma. So we have a lot of people that would like to focus on unrefined products. They want it as pure as, nat as possible, but then you have to be prepared for the aroma that they come with because they do come with their aroma naturally from the earth where they come from. So products like shea butter does come with a strong aroma in its unrefined state and Kupuasu seed butter is no different. So it has this cocoa smell and it, it combines it with such a licorice aroma so if you want to try unrefined kupuasu butter you should definitely be ready for that scent that it comes with so we sell our kupuasu seed butter on amazon.com actually we're one of the top companies that sell kupuasu seed butter and our butter has tons and tons of positive reviews so some people end up saying well we don't i don't like the smell but then when i tried it on my skin i definitely felt such an amazing difference and moisturizing benefit that I don't care about the, the aroma anymore. So you would find that these unrefined products, they do come with a scent, but when you apply them on your skin, the benefit sort of outweighs that negative impact of the smell. However, Kupuasu seed butter doesn't smell bad at all. Like to me, when anytime I'm dealing with the product, I just find that it smells so rich and buttery. So there are some butters that just have this flat smell, but then Kupuasu seed butter, it just smells so buttery, so rich. And you can tell that it does amazing on the skin just because of how it smells. So I definitely recommend Kupuasu seed butter. So it is an anti-inflammatory butter. So I've been talking about the characteristics of these butters in all the videos when, that I've talked about 
that I've dedicated specifically to a specific butter. So I'll talk about the origin of the butter, where it comes from in nature, how it is processed, and how you can get the main benefits out of it and the properties that it contains. So for example, Kupuasu seed butter is known for promoting hair growth. So for example, if you would like to try Ayurvedic products like Amla, fenugreek, and um, Shebe, you can definitely incorporate Kupuasu butter because it's also very rich in hair growth properties and you can combine the benefits of the butter with the benefits of the Ayurvedic ingredient that you're using and it just helps to enhance your creation in general so i use it for my hair a lot because it promotes hair growth because it softens the hair and it just reduces hair breakage and you can use it to make a scalp paste that you can apply directly on your scalp because it contains anti-inflammatory properties and it has all these amazing fatty acids that help to promote moisturize the moisturizing benefits that it contains. So another benefit of Kupuasu butter is that you can use it for healing the skin. So prom, pro, skin problems like eczema, discolorations and patches, um, like when you go out in the sun, you get sunburns and you therefore have pigment, like people like us that have pigmented skin, you end up having patches, different colors. So if you want to blend out the color of your skin again, definitely incorporate Kupuasu seed butter into your face butter or face lotion that you're making just to make sure that you get that benefit of kupuasu seed butter mixed up with the oils that you would use and it just definitely makes a big difference so how is our kupuasu seed butter process so ours is pure and it's unrefined so mostly unrefined butters they do go through a filtration process to remove impurities just like how you would you would watch out for some, not our butters but some butters out there you might be able to find particles in them so you want to watch how to filter it out that's the initial processing that our butters do go through even though they are unrefined because you might find some impurities and they are they are then processed to do a high level of purity removing those impurities that come from the earth naturally or from just the seeds that it comes right you have to crack the seed and bring out the butter so you you might find impurities in there so i was filtered and then processed the highest level of purity but it's still pure and unrefined and you would find that when you open the package the scent's just gonna hit you <laughs> in the face because it's very buttery like i said and <clears throat> excuse me you would find that you get that buttery scent so watch out for it because some people don't have a people have a different kind of frame of reference when it comes to scents like some people would say oh this doesn't smell good it smells like this and but if you if you walk with cocoa butter you will just get that initial cocoa smell because they're from the same family so like you would find when you go to asia you go to europe you find different products but they are from the same family sort of so that's how cocoa butter and kupuasu seed butter they are both they both come from pods so they have some characteristics in terms of smell and in terms of their moisturizing benefits so um i don't know if i've covered all the questions like people do talk about the scent where it's from how it's processed can i use it on my face can i use it on my hair you absolutely can and that's what i've done i use it on my face I use it on my hair a lot because I definitely enjoy softer hair because I have thick hair so I like my hair to be soft and easy to manage and handle so you can use it on your face your skin it comes from the Amazon rainforest it is yellowish in its pure and natural state we carry the unrefined version like I said so if you have any other questions that you want me to answer about Kupuasu Seed butter, definitely leave that in the comment section. Um, I would also mention that Kupuasu seed butter is very good for blending in with other products. So if you want to make face lotion, you want to mix it with a bunch of other butters like shea butter, cocoa butter, mango butter, Kupuasu butter also comes out shining in those creations. So feel free to incorporate it. And if you are looking for a vegan alternative to lanolin, to other animal byproducts if you're vegan 
then kupuasu seed butter is for you. So definitely try it and let me know if you have any more questions about it. Look up our, check it out on our website, ostapaganis.org. On amazon.com, you would find our own brand of kupuasu seed butter. So thank you so much for staying with me to the end. I appreciate you. And um, if you're not subscribed yet, please definitely subscribe and hit the notification bell so you would get all the amazing videos in this series talking about our butters. I'll also continue talking about the oils and the waxes and other amazing DIY ingredients that we carry and that you will find out there. So thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful, wonderful day.